One of the realities we live with in the 21st century in this rapid pace of accelerated continual change is stress and distress. It isn't easy to manage or master stress without understanding it both from a psychological and a spiritual perspective. I'm reminded of the fact that when David, the sweet psalmist of Israel, is going through a very difficult season, he talks about in Psalm 4, in the first verse, you have relieved me in my distress. When you look in the Hebrew at that word relieved and that word distress, those word pictures are very enlightening. And God wants to relieve you in your distress. That word relieve, amazingly in the Hebrew, means enlarged. So that what God wants to do is that when you're in distress, he wants to enlarge you. Not only that, the word distress means a very tight, narrow place. In other words, it's a place where the squeeze is put on you. So that when you're under distress and you are in a stressful situation, you can feel like the life is being squeezed out of you. Now, stress can manifest in all sorts of ways, both in your body as well as in your mind and your spirit. And because you can't just pick yourself apart, spirit, soul, and body, you experience it in the totality of your being. Here's what I want you to understand. If I could put it in a paraphrase, when David says you have relieved me in my distress, here's what he's saying. When I'm going through a very tight place on the outside, you make me bigger on the inside than what's going on. And learning how to be enlarged in the midst of feeling like you are being constrained is a secret in the spirit that requires operating in a level of faith that stretches you beyond your comfort zone. Now, the comfort zone, as I personally prefer to call it, is an important place where we need to be able to retreat back to before we advance into new dimensions of enlargement. But the comfort zone, you stay there too long, and you can get so comfortable that you don't want to take on any challenges anymore. Now, you need to hear what I'm about to say and not be frightened by it. There is no crossing of any thresholds to new dimensions in the spirit without facing adversity and some level of anxiety. You can't read through the stories of the great saints, both from the Old Testament or the New Testament, and not realize that the man who said, be anxious for nothing, but in all things by prayer and supplication, the Apostle Paul in Philippians, also says in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, when I was with you, I was with you in weakness, fear, and in much trembling. Paul was entering into a phase of his ministry where he was crossing a threshold and moving into a new level of enlargement, and he was meeting great opposition, and he was feeling the distress even in his mind, his body, and his spirit. But he determined to know nothing except the finished work of Christ both in him and through him, and and allowed himself to become a vehicle that was bigger on the inside than what was pressing him on the outside so that he could operate in the demonstration of the spirit and power and not merely persuasive words of men's wisdom. When the squeeze is put on you, you find out what you're made of. And God wants to enlarge you in your distress. God wants to make you bigger on the inside than what's coming at you on the outside. Now, how does God do that? Very simply, enlargement always comes in those moments of distress when you take a posture of faith and begin to declare, I believe that which is taking place right now is for my good and for God's glory, 
And that even though I feel like the squeeze is being put on me and I feel like a death grip from the powers of darkness has laid hold of me, death may look like it's working in me right now, and it may be, but life is working through me to bring others into release. And I am literally becoming an instrument of God to break chains off of the lives of those I'm sent to to be an encouragement to. And so I want to just invite you to dare to believe that God in this very season, I don't know what the challenges are that you're facing. I don't know how many things you're trying to move through right now where you're hitting obstacles. I simply want you to see yourself bigger on the inside than the challenges on the outside and use your faith to move those mountains of oppression, move those mountains of satanic resistance, not by effort, but simply by childlike trust and faith, and with David, realize that God is going to answer you because he's the God of your righteousness, and when you call, he hears you. One of the greatest deceptive works of the enemy is to convince you that when you're in distress, God's not listening, when in actual fact, when you're in distress, the cry of the righteous in their affliction gets heaven's attention very, very quickly. And so my prayer for you, my precious friends, beloved, my prayer for you is that you would discover that you're much bigger on the inside than what's coming at you on the outside. How come? Because the mystery that was hidden from ages past and generations is now being revealed in you, and that is Christ in you, the hope of glory, the limitless, infinite one whose greatness is inexhaustible, lives inside you. You are a new creation in Christ. You're bigger on the inside than whatever comes at you on the outside. And whatever is coming at you when the squeeze is coming on you is only designed ultimately by God to make you larger first on the inside and then give you territory on the outside. It's time for your increase. It's time for your enlargement. It's time for you to begin to take territory that belongs to you and reclaim that territory that was stolen from you by the powers of darkness. The best is yet to come. God is enlarging you in your distress. <laughs>